That one's gonna turn out really nice. I always did say coffee and cameras go hand in hand. Literally, hand in hand. You know what else goes hand in hand? Extraction and exposure. So today, coffee nerds, we're gonna be talking about the both of them. I'm Brody, and this is the Nomad Barista. So as you can probably tell, I'm not the best latte artist, but I am working on it, so bear with me. And bear with the sun too, because the clouds are just passing over and changing all of our exposure today. But we're working through that as well. For all the photography nerds out there, if you understand exposure, understanding extraction is really not that far behind. I'm not gonna go super deep into camera exposure here, but just like in photography, where there's a triangle of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, you also have the triangle of extraction. But, let's break it down here visually in coffee. Just like the triangle of exposure, the right coffee extraction comes from the balance of grind size, time, and temperature. It's not the perfect metaphor, but if you think about grind size as aperture size, it's basically the speed at which the water is extracting those coffee molecules from the coffee beans based on surface area. Just like with aperture, it's the size of the opening for the light to hit the sensor. Brew time is like the shutter speed. How long you're letting the sensor being exposed to light or how long you're letting the coffee molecules be dissolved in the water. Now, temperature might be a bit of a stretch, but I like to see it as the ISO. You don't want to go too high on the ISO or it will start to distort your image. It basically makes up light particles and that's when you start to get noise or grainy images, just like with the water temperature, it will start to distort your coffee and extract at a rate that you cannot necessarily balance the brew. But if you go too low on the temperature, just like going too low on the ISO, depending on the conditions, you'll have to compromise with the brew time and the grind size. You can use your imagination for how this might work, but the point is keeping everything in balance for getting a well extracted cup, just like you have to balance the triangle of exposure for getting a well exposed photo. So instead of just talking about it, why don't we make a quick brew and put this science into action? We've got a bunch of coffees here from my friends at Modern Recreation, roasted by Square Mile right out of London, and we're gonna be using a Burundi coffee to demonstrate the brewing process. On this specific brew, as a starting place, I'm using a medium grind size, water at 91 degrees, and we're gonna try to get it to draw down in about three minutes. If we use specific parameters on each part of the extraction triangle, we can actually regulate the brew and make adjustments on the next one, just like taking a photo. So now, for the ultimate test. And we finally get to drink our creation. Wow. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I just went with the standard recipe just to set my base and go from there. But I wouldn't necessarily change anything on this, on this recipe. Sometimes that's the way it works. With that being said, just keep in mind that every parameter you change will change the extraction. If you make the grind finer, you'll have more extraction and a tendency for more bitter notes. If you make it coarser, you'll have less extraction. It will be more on the sour side. And we're gonna get more into why this is in a future video, but I just wanted to give you a sense of what extraction actually is and different things that you can do to play around with it. And keep these parameters in mind for when you're tasting it and when you're making the next one. And let it cool down a little bit too because that's when you're gonna get the full essence of what this coffee has to offer. If you drink it too hot, it's hard to get all those flavors opening up on your flavor palette. So, I'm gonna leave you with that. Again, I'm Brody, this is the Nomad Barista, and if you wanna see more of these sort of coffee nerd exploration type videos, why don't you subscribe, hit like if you like this video, and leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any tips, I'd love to read those and try them out for myself. So, until next time, 